Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome to my beauty stash. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you all for watching another one of my videos. Before we begin, make sure you click on the subscribe button and ring that bell so that you're notified every time I have a new video upload. So we are in the heart of summer 2019 and there's so many new palettes coming out. I don't know about you guys, but I have a hard time keeping up. I just love all of the colorful palettes that are coming out. It's just so many great things I see from not just the high-end brands, but the drugstore brands as well. But this video is not going to be about what's hot right now in 2019. I'm going to take you back into the past and I'm going to share with you some of my favorite palettes from 2018. That's right. We need to dig back into what we bought last year. It's still good. We still need to make it work. We spent a lot of good money on it. One of the palettes that I picked up last summer was from Manny MUA's new brand called Lunar Beauty. And this is the Life's a Drag palette. And this is what the back looks like. If you don't know, um, this palette is now available at Sephora online and in stores. And I think that is fantastic. This was a colorful palette that came out, a really pretty colorful palette, but you also got some good neutral colors in there as well. There were so many looks that you can create with this palette. You even get a nice little brush with it. And I just found myself reaching for this time and time again last summer, and I still reach for it today. Um, it's just a really solid palette. There's good payoff with it, very little fallout. And you know, this is Manu MUA. He's a Influ a beauty influencer here on YouTube. He's hilarious. If you haven't checked him out, please go check him out. But I think everybody knows who Manny MUA is. But really love the palette. Still love it today. And I love that now you can pick his brand up uh, in Sephora stores. And his brand again is called Lunar Beauty. And this is the Life's a Drag palette. So really love this one. Another palette that I really loved and bought it as soon as it came out was an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette called Norvina. Norvina is Anastasia's daughter. And you get so many beautiful purple pink uh, warm tone shades in here. As you can see, this palette is well loved. I love the purple and pink shades. Um, and with all Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, the quality is there. They perform so well. Um, you do have kick up in the pan. That's expected. That's the way all of their palettes are made but the color payoff and the color story is always on point. So I really loved this palette. I used it a lot in the fall. Um, I actually used this palette for like two weeks straight. I wanted to do like a little challenge with myself and this was the only palette that I used. So I got really creative um, in creating all kinds of different looks with it. So I was really very happy with this palette. Another palette that was hot last summer was, of course, the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette. This was his summer collection, and I highly recommend that if you have not tried any of Jeffree Star Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes, that this one or Blood Sugar would be your first ones to go with. I think there, this is a good neutral palette, even though you are seeing some bright colors in here. You can create a lot of neutral looks with it. I don't think it's as um, in your face color as some of his other palettes are. I think this Thirsty palette would be a really great way to start. I believe it's in stock right now on his website. If not, I'm sure he plans to restock it pretty soon. A Free Star Cosmetics is also sold at Morphe, and it's also sold at at Beautylish, I believe. So definitely check this out. Again, if you haven't bought any of his eyeshadow palettes, I think this one is a great place to start. Um, my other favorite, which is the one I'm going to actually use today to create a look with, was from Violet Voss. And this was the Flamingo eyeshadow palette. I love flamingos. I am a huge fan of flamingos. I have flamingos all over my house. I just I just love everything that flamingos represent. And so this is the palette right here. Um, again, this was a very colorful palette. I took this with me on my uh, Aruba vacation last year. This was the only palette that I took with me. And I 
loved it. Whenever I had to put on makeup, which wasn't that often because I was at the beach, but um, whenever I did have to do a look for the evening, this was the palette I used. I have no complaints about this palette. I thought all of the colors in here performed so well, and it was just such a cute palette. And again, for somebody who loves flamingos, you're definitely going to want to pick this up. Um, I did pick mine up at Sephora. No. I take it back. This is available at Sephora, but I bought this when uh, Violet Voss first released it on their website. I think they got it, they released it on their website a couple weeks before Sephora got it on theirs. So that's when I decided to pick it up because I knew um, I was going to Aruba where there's flamingos and I wanted to take this one with me. So really love this palette and this is the palette that we're going to use today. All right, so to begin our look with the Violet Voss Flamingo palette, I am going to apply the shade Sand all over my eyelid. The next shade I'm gonna go into is going to be Flamingos. And I'm gonna apply that in my transition area. The next shade I'm gonna go into is Watermelon. And I'm gonna apply that also in the transition area, but just slightly below. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is Sandals. And I'm gonna apply that directly in my lower crease. The next thing I'm going to do is go back in with watermelon and kind of go over my transition area. Now we're going to go into one of our shimmer shades and the shade that I'm going to go in with is Bikini. I'm going to take that on a wet brush. I'm going to use my Mario Badescu and apply it all over my eyelid. I'm gonna go in with a darker shimmer shade and I'm gonna go in with Pinwheel and I'm gonna take Pinwheel into the outer corner of the eyelid. I'm also gonna spray I'm gonna go back in with the shade Sandals and really define my crease again. Now it's time to do some work on the lower lash line. For that, I'm gonna take a small little pencil brush and I want to give that a pop of color. So I'm going to go in first with Beach Ball. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Tidal Wave. I'm going to focus that to the middle and outer portion of the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to take a very small synthetic brush and I'm going to wet it. And I'm gonna go into the shimmer shade Tidal Wave. And I'm gonna place that in the inner to middle corner of the eye. The next thing I'm gonna do is go back in with my little pencil brush. I'm gonna take the color Oceanfront, and I'm going to smoke that out under my lower lash line, below the color Beach Ball, which is that first shade. I'm 
going to take it up just a little bit. What do you think so far? So far I like everything. It's a very colorful look. It screams summer. It screams the beach to me. And I really love the way my inner corner is looking. What I want to do right now is go back and intensify the purple shade that's on my eyelid. I'm going to go back in with Bikini. I'm going to wet my brush again and just really make that pop. I'm going to go back in with Pinwheel, which was on the outer corner of my eyelid. Wet my brush. I'm just going to look everything over. I think everything looks like it's blended out pretty well. This is the brush I use for the transition shade. Okay. Now I didn't I got a little bit of fallout while I was working on the eye look, but there's I wiped it away and there's nothing left. So I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do my eyeliner and mascara and then we can go back in and maybe do some finishing touches. So I'll be right back. All right, so this is the completed look for mascara. I went in with the Catrice Cosmetics, uh, how do we pronounce it? Supret Volume 18 Hour Mascara. This is in the shade Velvet Black. This is the second, third time, no, it's the third time that I use this mascara, so really like that. Um, on my lower lash line, actually my lower waterline I went in with something that I actually got last summer also this is uh, by the brand Koki Cosmetics and this is their eyeliner in Peacock Green on my upper waterline I went in with my favorite LA Girl Shockwave neon liner this is obviously in the shade black blackout and then um, my eyeliner on top of my lash line is the BH Liquid Eyeliner Pen. Now that I've done with everything, I'm going to set my face using a new setting spray by Essence Cosmetics. This is a You Better Work Fixing Spray. It says it's gym proof, sweat proof, and anti-shine. So we'll see, you're gonna give that a good shake. Oh, you know what we need to do? What I forgot is to do a brow bone highlight. Let's take care of that right now. I'm going to take a little bit of, I'm going to do a little bit of pineapple. Slightly run that along my brow bone. Same little pencil brush. Just dip in there. Very lightly. This is a step that I often forget. <laughs> but it's okay, it's, it's an easy step to do at any time, at any step in the makeup routine. I'm gonna take a little bit of that pineapple and pop it in my inner corner here. Ooh, good decision. All right, so what do you guys think? I'm happy with the way everything came out. Again, this was my favorite palette from summer 2018. I traveled with it. I took it to Aruba. I love flamingos. That was the selling point for me on this Violet Voss palette. So one of my favorites from last summer and it continues to be a favorite in my stash. So if you have not picked this palette up, you can do so at Sephora. At, um, I believe it's on the Sephora website and the Violet Boss website. Uh, I will put the details for it as price and all that stuff down below. So that completes the look for today, guys. I wanna thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you're notified of all my future uploads. I'm a new channel, guys, and I just can't wait to share more of my beauty stash with all of you. Thank you all so much. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated. Drink your water, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.